Good afternoon. I'd say that this uh, davening, this prayer, reminds me of Yom Kippur. But it's actually much greater than that. I don't think my ashray on Yom Kippur is as long as the ashray I just experienced here today. So I'm definitely in a very special place. Looking forward to the rest of uh, davening. Imagine somebody tells you, somebody you know, guess where I was yesterday? Where? I was at the president's Oval Office. Oh, come on, really? You? No way. I mean, seriously, how did you get there? How did I get there? It's simple. I got on a plane to Washington, D.C., and I went to the... You're missing my point. I don't mean how did you get there? How did you get from New York to Washington? I'm asking you, how did you get in? Why did they allow you in? I have the same question for all of you here today. We are about to stand in front, not of the president, the one and only, God himself. When we stand by Shemona Esra, by the Amidah prayer, we are standing, we have permission, we have allowance to stand in front of God himself. We don't see him, it's not physical, but it is a reality no less than standing in front of all of you right now. So the question is now, how did I get here? I walked from downstairs to upstairs to get here. The question is, how did I get access? What's the password? What's the access code? How are we all sitting here? Why are we and how are we all so confident that we're going to get and stand up and stand in front of God Himself and receive? So let's head back to not too long ago this month. The longest davening that we have during the day is the morning prayer. The rabbis tell us that in order to properly reach and approach standing in front of God Himself. To be ready for that, to al be allowed access, we need to get up on that ladder and climb rung by rung. We start off with the words of Moda Ani, wake up in the morning. For those of us who wake up, even when we're up and we jump on you. <laughs> Moda Ani, we simply recognize, thank you, I am alive right now due to you. Okay, is that it? So we thank Hashem for? That's it? We continue. Your Hashem. We make blessings in the morning. Thank you for not making me jump. Thank you for allowing me to walk, to open my eyes, to see, to have strength. We realize that every aspect of our very being is governed and controlled and given to us by God Himself. We're climbing up that ladder a little higher. We begin the Psuke de Zimro. We make the blessing, Baruch Sha'amah. We say Ashrei in the morning as well. And what goes on through all those many various prayers is realizing that everything that goes on around us, that happens to us in life, nature, the flow, the order, oh God, He's doing it all. Eventually we hit the pinnacle we speak about, Aziyoshi, we speak about Yitzhiya Smichai, and that was the exile, was not something which was natural, it was supernatural. God governed this world in two ways, in the natural and sometimes, when necessary, the supernatural way. We get closer and closer, you know what we do? We say the same exact words after we say, Boruchu, let us bless Hashem. You know who we are blessing Hashem with? We are blessing Him with the angels in heaven. The same words they say, Kadosh, 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 you are holy. You shall be blessed, your honor shall be blessed. The same exact words we say with them, we mimic them. We are moving up to the level of angels' recognition of God. But we get even higher. And then we get to Avarab and we speak about the love of Torah, which is the greatest way to connect to God Himself. We are ready for it. We are connecting with it. We are understanding and appreciating it. That Ahabo Rabbah, because God loves us, He connects with us in this world. He's not somewhere up above there, but He's down here. And every time we learn this Torah, we connect with Him in the greatest way possible. We get that. And then we put our hands over our head when we say, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokim Hashem. You are the only reality in this world. You are the king, and we are your servants. We accept upon ourselves today, right here, right now, the yoke of that was intense. But now we are ready, I should say, then we are ready in the morning to stand in front of God Himself. Whether we had all the greatest intentions or not, but at least we went through the different stages. And we have risen up on that ladder and we are now granted access to stand in front of You're ready. It's not just conditions, do this, do this, do that. You've got to get ready. What does it mean to stand in front of God? You've got to get yourself ready for that. Good. But I'm not here speaking before the shachas beginner's mincha. Beginner's mincha. I'm by the mincha. Beginner's mincha. What's going on here? 
Where's our preparation? Where's our ladder? I don't see a ladder. I don't even see a stepping stool here. How are we supposed to get from Asher, which is just one prayer, all the way up to standing, to getting access, to connecting, to living with the reality that we're going to send him in front of God himself. We can ask him to do that. And the answer is very quite simple. You see, wake up in the morning, the, the day has not begun. To prepare ourselves to connect to the reality of God and his relationship with us, all we can do is talk, is praise him, discuss him, and believe in him. Because the day has not begun. Our day begins with prayer. But God, it's been five, six hours since we finished davening the morning prayers. I hope so. We've lived life. We've lived Torah. We've been walking. We didn't just thank Hashem for allowing us to talk. We've been walking. We've been talking. We've been interacting. We've been living Jewish lives the past five, six hours. This is the world of the reality, the physical world of ma'asa, of doing, of action. We don't need all that when it comes to mincha. You know what prepares us to stand and believe we're standing in front of God to gain that access, to appreciate it? The past few hours that we've been living from Shachos until Mincha. I see God everywhere I go. There's food in front of me. Who gave that to me? You made a bracha every night. You made a blessing before and after. I'm walking, I'm talking, I can see. I'm learning the beautiful Torah. I learned something today I never heard in my life. Everything the Chosama said about me today is news to me. I learn new things every day. Yeah, we see God. Haven't we been looking and interacting with him the past three, four, five hours? So we can say Asher, we can sing Asher. But what really prepares us to stand in front of God and realize it and appreciate it and merit to it is our life. If we just open up our eyes every single day and see God, we stay in that. Just look back. In your Torah, in your interacting with people, you take all of that and you bring it right here right now. Take all of it. Take one point in your mind. Wow, that's a great cheer I heard today. Wow, I can see, I can talk. I had a great conversation today. It's beautiful outside. There's a sun, there's a moon. Take any one of those and say, God, I see you. I believe in you. I may be careful. And now we can begin to doubt in that prayer. And God will come before us and say, my son, Stand in front of me. You are ready. And I am ready to receive you as well. Good.